Okay, you guys are gonna love this. So today we're gonna learn how to give your t-shirt designs that vintage distressed look. There's multiple ways to do this using brushes and layer masks, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do it the easiest way. So I've given you five vintage distressed texture PNGs that you can download from the link in the description below. Please do that. Also go ahead and download the Photoshop file that has the design on it. Please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit that like button. Okay, so first off, make sure you download the files from the link in the description. That way you can follow along with me. Let's go ahead and open up the Photoshop file. Click on that. Take a second, and there we go. This is open. Um, it's just a artboard with a white background layer and our original design here. Now navigate to the folder with the texture files. Um, go ahead, click and drag across all of them. And then maybe slide this over a little bit so you can grab all of them and just drop them right here in the center. Um, you're gonna have to press enter for each one to load. So hit enter, that one will load. Go ahead, hit enter, that one will load. Go ahead, hit enter, that one will load. Go ahead, hit enter, that one will load. And there you go. So now they're all loaded. Um, you can actually see what the design would look like if we used all of them uh, on top of our design. We're not gonna do that today. Um, we want to just do a few of them. Um, I'll kind of show you what each one looks like, but um, if you're doing this on your own design, what you want to have is you want to have a PNG here that's rasterized. Um, you know, it's got the transparent background. This is what you need to work with to be able to use um, these textures that I'm giving you. Let's go ahead and put the background back on. Let's just go ahead and start from the bottom here. Uh, dirt grunge texture. Click the visibility, you can see what that does. It's gonna look kinda cool. Let's go ahead and make a copy of this layer here so we don't destroy it. Turn off the visibility. There you go. Uh, dirt grunge texture. Now, to make this work, all we have to do is mouse over to this little corner here, hold down control, click it. It highlights everything in that PNG. Now to knock this out, we've used this before uh, when we made this warning here, uh, this technique. So all you have to do is make sure you have, this is group three copy. Go ahead and hit delete. Now that deleted those portions out of our original design. Control D to deselect. Go ahead and turn off visibility for dirt grunge layer and you'll see there it is. It's it's been texturized uh, with a vintage texture, and that's basically it. Very simple, very fast. If we don't like that one, just go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and make another copy of this one here. Turn off visibility again. Uh, let's try the, the frame. The frame's really neat. You can hold down Alt here to size it. The frame works really cool on certain designs. You know, it would end up looking like that. Again, control, click in the corner, there you go. Highlight the layer that you want to texturize. Hit delete. Um, press control D to deselect again. Turn off visibility, there you go. You have a nice vintage frame look applied to your original clean design. Let's go ahead and delete that one. Again, control J makes a copy. Turn off visibility of this one. Let's try the real fabric. I really like the real fabric one. As you can see there, it, it, it just really makes it like a, a nice old comfy t-shirt. Uh, great look. Typically when I do the real fabric, I'll use it along with another one. Um, let's see, control to select it, hit delete. Control D to deselect, turn off visibility, there you go. It's awesome. I really like this scratch grunge texture. A lot of the times I'll put that 
on with the real fabric. Excuse that dog barking, by the way. There you go. That's the scratch grunge texture. Um, let's go ahead and do that one. Hold down control, click, select, hit delete to delete it from our design. Um, control D to deselect, turn off layer visibility. There you go. That's a highly textured vintage t-shirt look. Very, very, very quickly done. Um, just a, a few keystrokes and you're finished. Let's go ahead and delete this one. Uh, control J, make a copy. I don't know what I did there. Control J, make a copy, turn on visibility, vintage lines. Now, this one is a very, very heavy texture. Um, it, it's probably not gonna be really useful for a lot of designs, but it's just a great look. I mean, really neat. Um, hit that one too, control, click, hit delete, control D to deselect, turn off visibility. Really, really, really fun. Um, and then once you've done that, all you have to do is make sure you have uh, just the visibility from your design layer selected, turn off the background layer there, come up here, right click, quick, export as PNG and there you go once again guys thanks for watching this video if uh, you found it useful uh, please subscribe and hit the like button for me um, if you have any questions comments or other tips please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one